Hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing good. So I'm just sitting here um, at my mom's apartment and uh, I was thinking of, of, of what I've been doing, what's going on. Um, they're painting the building. So you've got the, um, you've got the, the ropes out there and they, uh, they, they come up and down the building and they paint it. So they've been here today and uh, uh, let's see if I can get that right. And I've just been kind of sitting here. I haven't really had a lot that's been going on except my, my daughter and her mom visited. Um, Dan, uh, Danielle visited and so they came out here and they visited and um, we had a bunch of fun. We just, I don't know, went around and did stuff. And, um, you know, that was kind of fun. And then uh, last time I was talking, um, I, got, uh, I got a laptop. So I've been trying to use the laptop. And uh, the BIOS on the laptop, I guess, has been updated twice. And... Um, just other, just other trying to use it. I'm not as familiar with it. I still, um, it's a, it's a PC, and so I got it at Costco. I'll show it to you here. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a Lenovo, and they sold it at Costco, and it's got a, it's got a um, Nvidia graphics processor in it, and uh, I'm just trying to use it for. Um, for some stuff, but um, but like I, I had trouble just getting like screen print to work. Uh, and I guess every computer is different now. Um, and I found that like whenever you have a problem or, you know, you wanna do, um, you know, like, hey, like I've got this tech problem I can't fix. You know, they say, well, you know, can you, uh, did you get a screenshot or, you know, can you can you make it happen again? Can you can you replicate? You know the uh, the error, and so a lot of times the error messages are like really fast on the computer, and so you try to like say, well, I want to take a screenshot, but I still can't figure out um, how to how to take a screenshot. I press the button, and then it and then it goes to a selector bar on top. I read about it. And uh, I've always used Apple. So I've always used almost, you know, like at work and stuff, I would use PC. But uh, most of the time I grew up, I grew up using a little bit of both, but most of the time the computers that I had were Apple. And so, you know, I know Apple has, uh, has Grab and you use Grab on Apple. And if you leave that open, you can, you can take sort of a, a quick screenshot or whatever. But Having a laptop for me, a PC laptop, is like totally new. Um, and I just decided to do it, I guess. I don't know, you know, with Apple, you know, if you save photos with Apple and you, you know, you save to iCloud, then you need something like, you know, to look at your photos. That's why I thought the iMacs were so cool um, when, they came, when they started coming out, those large iMacs, the iMac that came out and... They sort of, you know, they they had a they had a they had a disk drive, you know, and everything, and um, I thought those were really cool. And so, uh, you know, that way when you take photos, you can use the Photos app and look at all the photos, and you can scroll through them and stuff. And then they did like facial recognition, and you can say, well, this is you know so and so in my family, and this is so and so, and then you could. You know, and now they send you reminders and stuff of like, you know, events and stuff in your life based on some of the photos. I thought that was really cool. But for me, having a PC is like sort of totally different and I'm just trying to use it. But one of the first things I thought of is like, well, let's see how I can use, you know, print screen. And I know on like old desktop PCs, you would press the print screen button and then you could basically open paint or something and then and then paste it to paint you know, as opposed to just pressing print screen and having a document, you know, sort of saved your desktop that is, is the screenshot, right? And, and I guess with this one, I read on Windows 11 that if you press print screen and then you save it to paint, it's sort of the same thing. But when I press print screen, um, when I press print screen, um, 
it opens up like a temporary uh, action bar on the top of the PC, on the Lenovo PC. And then from there you can select to take a screenshot. And so, you know, if you want it to be really fast, it's not really fast. And uh, you have to, it takes you to a secondary, you know, menu. So you kind of got to press print screen, then you got to go to the menu. And I don't know if you have to use the, the, the trackpad or if you can press the arrow keys and enter. Uh, it's just, it was just, you know, I just didn't, uh, couldn't really get into it. But I mean, you know, having a, having a, uh, having, you know, barely even having uh, uh, an Outlook at, I mean, when I, when I used to work, I had, I had Outlook and stuff, but not ever really outside of work. And so, you know, setting up a Microsoft email and trying to get that to go, um, and then just other stuff with it. I guess I did buy an airline ticket on a, on a web browser and, uh, and so I did that, and I and I and I talked to a buddy, a friend of mine who um, knows all about like you know um, graphics processors and stuff. And I guess you had to, you kind of got to turn on the graphics processor and stuff and get that going. And and I know you know it's not a it's not one of those you know custom made you know PCs with all this VRAM and everything or whatever whatever it's called now and everything where you know to run the games, but. Um, but I didn't really get it for that. I really wanted something to last. And the reason why is because when I basically, when I became homeless for a, for a little while, a short while, um, I, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I sort of went back to live with my parents afterwards. I'd gotten out of a shelter in Seattle. Um, I didn't have very much money. I still had the money I had, um, you know, you know, monthly and weekly, but, um, uh, um, but, uh, from, you know, from disability, but, um, but what I did is that I, uh, is that I, uh, um, I went and bought a really inexpensive PC because I wanted something that I could use on the internet and something I could use with a tablet because I bought a tablet that was, um, was uh, that I bought a tablet that uh, that uh, that was an Android tablet, and so I liked using the Android tablet. And there was basically a, a two hundred dollar PC that I could buy, and then and then is right after I got that, you know, sort of within a year or so, Windows eleven was announced, and then the the minimum spec requirements for Windows 11 and um, and then my and then because everything sort of fitted into the into the laptop you can't upgrade it so I couldn't upgrade my old laptop so I finally said why don't I just spend more money um, on a PC but you know and I, I guess I decided not to get a um, I decided not to get a, an Apple I don't exactly know why um and so now i've just sort of been trying to use it, but i don't actually use it very much it's really weird i used to use computers all the time i did all types of stuff on the computers and everything and now i'm basically just you know uh using sort of like uh you know the smart tvs to, to watch videos and stuff on the internet or youtube or whatever because you know it's just it just seems like it's easier i don't have to deal with you know, all like sitting at a laptop or whatever, doing any of that stuff. So, um, so yeah, so, um, so that's pretty much what, you know, what I've been doing. And, uh, um, and like even today, you know, these smart TVs, you know, uh, like I post, I posted a video on 4K and then the smart TV, that is over here uh, connected to the internet, the Wi-Fi, the internet, it will not play in 4K. It slows down and it like, it'll, it, you can play it in 4K, but then it, but then it's choppy, it stops and it, and it doesn't, it doesn't play actually smooth. And so then if you exit the video, you go back into it, maybe it goes down to 10, to, you know, 1440 or 1080. 
and um, and it just makes it like a total mess or whatever. So, you know, I don't really know a lot of the stuff, you know, I used to really try to get it to work or try to find an alternative. And now I just sort of say, well, I guess I don't, I don't really need to use it. You know, I just use what, what will work, you know? Um, and that's really one of the reasons why I used to use Apple uh, and I still do because I have all these photos saved and everything. And, and I use, you know, you use Google too. But um, but it just it's just so much that, you know, I don't know. Some of the time I don't even want to sit, you know, I don't, you know, finding a comfortable chair someplace to sit. I was talking about in my last video, you know, I don't, you don't really have your own desk or your own place to sit. So, you know, you're sort of sitting at a coffee table or whatever. You just say, well, you know you know, you know, what, what, you know, what else are you doing? Um, you know, but this, this is kind of cool. This one has facial recognition. So, you know, when you open up the laptop, um, you know, it'll recognize your face on it. Um, but I still don't have, um, a lot of grasp of, of using the PC very much. Um, and, you know, it sort of does the face recognition, and then, and then when I press, let's, let's see, press print screen. Yeah, it brings up this this status bar, and then I guess I'm supposed to full screen mode, but I don't. Yeah, and then it goes to the snipping tool, and you know, I don't know. I guess I'm sort of. You know, a little bit older. I'm assuming you're just supposed to be able to press a button, and you know, you just press a button and it takes a screenshot and saves it. You know, that that's that's basically where where I sort of think from. Um, but you know, and then you know, and update update the driver. So let's see, um, check for so you, so you, they say update, and you see if they want to do an update. And, you know, so see if there's an update. And no updates available, but I thought it said there was a driver update. So I don't know, you know, you have sort of your own update system here and then you can update windows and you know you get a lot of notifications to do this do that and you know virus protection and stuff and I mean a lot of times when I think probably part of the reason is a lot of times when you use computers all the computer resources just get used up doing nothing you know and so um you know, your your RAM gets used up doing nothing, your disk space gets used up using nothing, and the computer doesn't really just sit, right? It's sort of like a car. If you've ever taken a car to the shop, and when you get it out of the shop and you put it in drive, but you don't put the brake on, it goes like five over five miles an hour just sort of down the road. And, uh, you know, you say, well, how do you fix that? And how does it stop? And I mean... You know, you can't really you can't really fix a lot of that stuff. Um, and if you try to talk to people, you know, to get it fixed, it just sort of ends up being sort of a, a roundabout conversation. Um, and, you know, that's just kind of what, you know, sort of what you end up dealing with. You know, it's it's you know, nothing really gets answered and you don't really move forward with anything. You say, well, you know, you know, what else can I use? you know, other than, other than a car or a computer. So, you know, a lot of what I've been doing is just basically smart TV stuff, but the smart TV, um, you know, if it, if it has a, if it basically becomes like its own computer. And so, um, you know, the problem with the smart TV being its own computer is it works to begin with, and then it needs upgrades or it has system requirements or, you know, whatever that other stuff is. And, uh, and, and it just kind of becomes, you know, sort of something that doesn't work anymore either, you know, 
So, um, so anyhow, I'm gonna I'm gonna go outside and uh, here I'll show I'll show you that button here. You can see the button on the screen. So when I press, uh, let's close this and close this and press print screen. It just brings up this thing, which they say is not, and then you can take a screen print with that. But you can't just press a button and press print screen. And I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be or not be or what, but um, <clears throat> so, and then the, uh, <clears throat> I'll close that. And then, oh, I got some, I got some McDonald's today. And I got some sandwiches the other day. Here's the Ninja Foodie. The uh, the Ninja Foodie is uh, is good. It works, and uh, it just it just does sort of some stuff. Um, but here's this. I'll show you this. This is a video. This is my last video on YouTube, and I'm gonna play it. And I posted 4K, and then I put it, it goes into 1080p, I put it into 4K, and I got a new laptop, and so I'm just sort of using the Yeah, that's what it does. So it just completely cycles through. I can't actually get and this is like a, a, a Samsung Q something. I don't even know if it's a Q. I've got the, la the, the label for it. It was here in the apartment, <laughs> but I believe it's a 4K TV. And it does not play the videos. See, it just, it cycles through. I can't really get this stuff to work. And... So when I want to watch something in 4K, just like this video and stuff, I can't get it to play. See, it doesn't play very well. So anyhow, anyhow I'm going to go outside. I'm going to see if it's too hot outside or if it's cold outside. I think it's warmed up here in Florida. It was nice and cool a couple days ago. Oh, it's nice outside, but it's warm. Got some, there's some people playing, playing tennis down there. People are playing tennis and there's construction and all this building stuff. Ugh. But it's hard to see, so maybe I should move. I think this is okay. So, I don't know, just a lot of babbling. You know, it's like I feel a little bit old and stuff. And, um, you know, a lot of like stuff you're supposed to say, stuff you're not supposed to say. You know, it's just really weird, you know. And, uh, you know, it's just, you know, I don't know. It's just sort of stuff you gotta gotta deal with. Um, but I hear the water down there. They got the uh, there's a fountain here, and the fountain is now working again, so I can hear that. It's kind of nice. And I'll show you here. It's, when my daughter was here, I got to go to the beach and I get a little bit of this dust. See that dust builds right up, up here. It just floats up. I don't know if you can see it right there and it, it gets on the table and everything. So you got to kind of wash out here, clean out here. Um, but yeah, so.
Well, I don't know what else has been going on. I, the other thing I worry about with, uh, with 4K video is that it takes up so much space. I'm worried I'm gonna like run over or I won't be able to use my stuff. And so that's been another big thing is that, you know, with 4K, it's like, I don't, I don't really know, you know, how to get, you know, like if I try to, you know, upload a video on a, on a PC or a computer, how you do that. And, um, you know, normally it's something you would use from, from, from the app but the app doesn't upload in 4K. And so, uh, you know, that's sort of the problem with, with, for me is that, you know, I'm sort of trying to do this and it becomes more and more, you know, involved in sort of doing it. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't know if you, you know, and if you have a PC, I don't, I don't think I can get my video you know, uh, cause you know, I use iPhone, I use, um, Android and so I use iPhone and I, you know, I use iOS, PC, Windows 11, um, Android and, uh, trying to get that stuff from one system to the other, you know, where you could just take a file and upload it. it it's gotten to be really sort of difficult for me. I don't really know how I would do that. Um, you know, if you take it from an iOS and put it on a PC, I don't think I can actually do that. I, I don't know. I would have to look it up. I mean, I, of course you can say, well, just look it up on YouTube. But like I said, some things when I look up on YouTube, they don't work exactly the same way or it's for a previous operating system and it doesn't always seem to work for me. So, uh, so yeah, so I don't know exactly what you know, what exactly I'm gonna do, you know. A lot of news is happening, global events and everything. You know, it's um, it's really bad, and I don't know how you. I don't know. You know, sometimes you think things are going to get way like worse. You know, global catastrophe. And then you think, no, it won't. It'll be sort of contained. It won't be a global catastrophe. But I just don't know. I mean, it, you know. Whenever I've tried to do stuff like that, I thought, oh, I'm going to, you know, I'll predict this or I'll predict that. It, it's, it's always way off from from what I've thought in, in being aware, you know, when I'm aware, it's sort of like, you know, I didn't think that would happen. I didn't think this would happen. So, You know, I'm on, I'm on disability because I was tortured as an infant. And, 
you know, some of the stuff you're not supposed to talk about it, you can't say this or that, but I mean, you know, that's sort of what, you know, what I remember from it. And, you know, I don't always agree with people in my family and stuff. And so I kind of just need, you know, my own, you know, my own space and stuff to kind of do sort of relax and stuff. But I also enjoy spending time with my mom because my dad is sick. Since my dad's sick um, and he's not getting any better, really, he's slowly getting sort of worse. I spend a lot of time with my mom, but it's also sometimes difficult to be so close with my mom because I haven't lived with my mom and, you know, I really like it. And I, you know, I really love my mom and, you know, it's really kind of great, but, um, you know, sometimes you say, oh, I should, I just want to like, you know, like be alone. I just want to, you know, you know, or you feel like, like, like you're, you know, you're like, you're getting blocked or something like in the kitchen or something like, it's like, Oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, you know, have, you know, something to eat. And then, you know, your mom's in the refrigerator and you're like, Oh, I'll go, you know, let me go put this dish in the sink. And then your mom's at the sink. And so, and so it's kind of fun like that just, but sometimes you're like, gosh, I'm, I'm not used to this. I've sort of lived, you know, by myself in apartments. And, you know, if you go to the kitchen, you know, or you go to the refrigerator, nobody's there. If you go to the sink, nobody's there, you know, and, and then, uh, and then, you know, all of a sudden somebody's there and I know, you know, I've, I, you know, I, I was in a, you know, I was in a family with, with a daughter and, you know, things, you know, we would argue and stuff, but, um, but for me, you know, having, you know, sort of this, you know, time to be kind of quiet and just, you know, get groceries or be, you know, just think about stuff, you know, really, um, it, it definitely feels good for me to do that. Um, and, you know, I went to the casino the other day and uh, I won a little bit at the casino. So I felt good about that. It's a little bit of a drive. I don't know when I'm going to go back, but, um, but, you know, and, and sort of this recovery a little bit, you know, um, you know, I was sort of, you know, unstable for, you know, a few years, several years and I couldn't get, it, you know, get it right. And it had been right for several years. And then, you know, I was on, I was on a specific medication and it worked. And then somehow with doctors and stuff, I got taken off it. And then I had, you know, insurance problems because I quit my job and then a divorce. And finally, you know, going on, you know, going on disability and then sort of doing that, like sort of stabilize, not really stabilizing a little bit to deal with that. But then, you know, essentially getting in a car accident and then, you know, basically getting kicked out of my apartment and, you know, being without, without a home for a short period of time and then going back to be with my parents. And I, you know, I had to seek treatment there. I, I was, got really upset one day and then, uh, you know, and then, and then sort of becoming, you know, stabilizing and basically where I was before, uh, just happening all over again, uh, where, you know, I'm on sort of the, the medication that I take and it, and it, and it helps to, you know, sort of, you know, you know, keep me thinking clearly basically. So, but I mean, you know, I don't know what people are going to do when they get really mad, you know, and, and, you know, I get mad and I type stuff into a computer or a TV, you know, and I get really mad. And, you know, I think about all this stuff that I've been doing for my life and, you know, I don't know if people, you know, 
you know, I'm sure people get mad and type stuff into a computer and stuff, but, but I don't know. I mean, I also, you know, don't really agree with a lot of the doomsday stuff. And, uh, you know, because that's what I was talking about earlier is, you know, it's like, it's like, you think you're going to predict one thing one way or the other, and it doesn't always, doesn't really always or ever happen that way. So, but I mean, I remember, you know, I was so happy when I, when I graduated college, I was totally happy. I didn't think I was going to ever going to be able to graduate college. And I graduated college and I was like, wow, this is going to be great. But now I got to find a job. And I've had a lot of different jobs, you know, in, in my teenage years and my adult years. And then I sort of basically got into a place where I was working at companies at a, at a desk in an office. And, you know, I'd gone from sort of like, you know, you know, part time jobs to working in an office after graduating college. And then that didn't really that was hard to really do. I had a lot of my, you know, rent would go up and, you know, I was trying to save and I was trying to think about, you know, being somewhere permanently. I couldn't really make that work. And it was really difficult. And then, you know, moving and getting married and then trying to have my own businesses. You know, I did, you know, I did Bitcoin and you know i had i had you know i had i had an account with mount gox and that went bankrupt and you know i was you know and this was back in 2010 2012 2010 to 2012 2013 14 right there and uh <coughs> and uh and none of that worked you know, and I couldn't get anything to work. I just could not get any, I guess I, you know, a lot of people call it traction where, you know, you do something and whoa, you get a customer, you get a business thing and you make some money and then you do more and you do more and, you know, you try to find sustainability, um, not in the environment, but just in working and paying bills and, you know, having a place to live and stuff. So being here, I've always, I mean, not being, well, being here is a little weird too, but I mean, but um, but not, but I, all the places I've lived, you know, there are always successful people around and they're doing things, but I don't always understand how they function or make money or make that much money based on what I see. You know, I see some of the houses, I see some of the cars and I think that seems impossible to me. You know, I just don't understand how they would be able to do that you know when I was when I was when I was working or when I wasn't working when I was trying to have my own businesses and uh, and I just I just didn't I just didn't think any of the stuff was possible really I mean even just commuting you know if you have to be at work at eight you know you commute for an hour and a half well how do you get kids to school you know and you know, a lot of people do daycare, and we did daycare, and you know, it, uh, you know, it was just it does it doesn't always make sense to me. So, um, but I'm sitting here, and it's really nice, and I like it, and the weather's nice, and there's breeze blowing through, and it's a beautiful scenario, and it just doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, really at all. But, um, but anyhow, I hope you're doing good. And I sort of, you know, you know, talked a lot today because I don't have any new item. I guess I showed my laptop, my laptop. So anyhow, I hope you're doing good and I'll talk to you later. And I uh, hope you're doing good. Bye-bye.